Welcome back everyone. In the previous video, we learned about custom events which help a child component communicate with the parent component. We use the $emit instance variable to emit an event from the child and handle it in the parent component. Now what is also possible with emitted events is validation. Similar to validating props passed into a child component, it is also possible to validate custom events that are emitted from the child component. In this video, let's understand how that works with a very simple example. If you can recollect, we have the app component and a pop-up component which is nested within the app component. The app component has a show pop-up button to display the pop-up component. The pop-up component has a close pop-up button that emits an event to the app component. The app component listens to the close event and sets the data property to false which will hide the component in the browser. Let's quickly see this in action. Show and hide. Now what we did do was pass some data from the pop-up component when emitting the close event. At the moment, it is the name Vishwas, which is hard-coded. You can see that here in popup.view. Let's improve this to accept a name from the user and send that name to the parent component when emitting the event. Let's begin by adding a new data property in the popup component. Data, which is a function that returns an object, Let's add a new property called name initialized to an empty string. In the template, let's add an input to accept the name from the user. Input type is equal to text, vModel is equal to name. Now, when emitting the close event, instead of passing in Vishwas, we pass in the name property. Let's save the file and test this out in the browser. Click on show pop-up, fill in the name as Batman and close the pop-up. We see the name Batman logged in the console. Now let's add a validation when emitting this event. We begin by changing the emits option to an object instead of an array. The object contains key value pairs. The key is the custom event name and the value is a validation function. Close and we assign a function. This function receives the argument specified when emitting the event. In our case, we have name. Within the function body, we can add a validation rule and return false to display warning in the console or return true if the validation passed. Let's add a simple rule that name cannot be empty. So if not name, return false, else return true. If we now go back to the browser, open the pop-up, you can see the name input is empty. If I click on close pop-up, we get the warning in the console. Event validation failed for event close. If I fill in the name and close the pop-up, we don't see the warning. As you can see, a pretty simple way to add some validations to the emitted event. Although these event validations just warn the user in the console, it's pretty useful when you're working in a team and developing components that will be used by others. All right, we have one more detail to learn about, which will round up the topics of the vModel directive, props, and custom events in a component. Let's take a look at that in the next video.